Yeah, and some and right now there's still some police presence out here, but we know Jeffrey Card is now in custody. We were here in the moments when he surrendered and was brought down peacefully. Um, when we first got here at around 4 p.m., um, Card was to believe to be armed and had made threats to harm himself. And police were negotiating with him for a couple hours. We saw him on the top of the rooftop of a home, and then he jumped to another one as police and family members were trying to get him to come down safely and peacefully. Um, Card, um, according to the Woodland Police, was wanted for a felony warrant for assault with a deadly weapon. And today, during a traffic stop, Woodland Police officers attempted to arrest him when he ran, and in his car, they found two guns. Um, just in that video that you saw, he was jumping from home to home, and after he was arrested, uh, we were able to talk to a longtime friend of Jeffrey Card, who just is glad that he is safe and just had a message about who he is. Make mistakes. This is a really big one, but as you can see, it, it was um, handled, you know, the right way and, and safely. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, he, he, do, he did something and he just, he needs to do the time for what happened today. But other than that, I want people to know that he's a great guy. He's, he's a sweet, sweet guy normally deep down in there. And right now, the feeling in, the, in this neighborhood is people are just glad that this ended safely. Um, for a while, residents in this area were asked to be on lockdown. Now we're seeing a lot of people. Um, they brought down the yellow tape. People um, now starting to go back to their homes. We don't see as many neighbors out here. There's still some police presence. But like we said, Jeffrey Card is now in custody. And his friends and family are just happy that he came down safely. Reporting now live in Woodland, Carolina Estrada, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, good to see this resolved. Carolina, thank you.